Good morning, friends. It's Nancy. And I'm just grabbing a piece of paper. Uh, today is a, a new series I'm starting called Self Care Sunday. I don't know if I talked about that yesterday or not. So, um, I, I know for sure I'm still going to do Take Out the Trash Tuesdays. I'm going to continue to do Thrifty Thursdays, Thrifty Canucks. Um, but Self Care Sunday is something different. Uh, yesterday when I was pulling papers for my new journal, that's what I'm going to be working on today is this journal. I accidentally pulled this paper and tore it and it's from the 1880s. So <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to resurrect it into a, hmm, probably a journaling space or maybe a flip out, tip out. Anyway, so um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the idea of what self-care is, but if you don't, or maybe you just want to think about it, um, self-care includes really, I'm leaving a little space here in case I want to do a tip out. It's, it's really uh, any activity that we do for ourselves. Um, it could be in any area of wellness, so physical, mental, environmental, social, uh, financial, vocational, um, I think I'm missing one, <laughs> creativity, <laughs> I wouldn't miss that one. <laughs> so on self-care Sunday, this is basically what it's going to be looking like. I am just working on a current project and I hope that uh, you'll either craft along with me, take this time just to get yourself in that uh, crafting mode and I think that's good and uh, or Maybe you're just going to sit back and relax, watch uh, watch the video. That's self care too. You know what? I think I'm going to use this as a, a tip out. So I'm going to shorten it. Or maybe you've got your journal out and you're do doing a little journaling about what self care is for you. Um, and the reason that self-care is important is it should, it should seem self-evident. Look at that. Why did I do that? Silly girl. I always do that. I have to remember not to use my knife on those old pages. Use my rotary cutter. Had a question about how to use these quilting rulers. It comes second nature to me because I was a quilter for so long. Um, but what I'm doing is I've picked a straight line here and I've lined it up against this edge of the white paper because I know this is a straight edge. So I'm able to make that little whisker cut and uh, and know that it's It's a, a, it's a true. It's a true. You know what? I'm going to cut the seven and a half first. So I'll find the seven and a half mark on my ruler and put that along the edge of the, the left hand side, or in this case, it's actually at the top of the paper and then cut along the right, right side and now I have a seven and a half inch long paper. It's, 
I was talking about why self-care is important. Well, it, it's essential for overall wellness. Um, as women, and I'm guessing most of my viewers are women, and perhaps women of a certain age, <laughs> we've been socialized uh, to believe that our caring of others has more value than caring for ourselves, <clears throat> which is cre completely ridiculous. And it does me good to know that future women will not necessarily still believe that. Um, I think there's sort of a, a movement around self-care. So I didn't do that exactly straight. Let's try it again. I'll use my golden folder. So because we've been raised up, trained to believe that it's our care of others that, you know, truly uh, demonstrates our value, our, our intrinsic value, our... Um, raison d'etre <laughs> we kind of you know look for opportunities to look after our children look after our, our families look after um, causes um, volunteer to do different things um, and and unless you really wrap your mind around the hows and the whys of what we do in terms of caring for others, um, it can it can lead to burnout. And that's especially true um, for myself. Um, there's a there's a really high risk of burnout in in social work. You know, so. Uh, I mean, when I was in university, that was, that was a key focus that, you know, you have to, you have to develop a practice of self-care. Um, and it makes sense because we, you know, the, 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 um, the idea that we have to fill up our own buckets before we can share, um, if you've ever been on an airplane, uh, they tell you, oh, I want to keep that edge. That's a yummy edge. They tell you if, you know, cabin loses pressure, um, you need to put your oxygen mask on first before you can help, before helping anybody else. So it's the same sort of idea. I'm just folding some tea dyed papers right now. I'm folding them crooked, but that's okay. Because I love to have tea dyed papers in, in my junk journals in general. Um, I try to have one in every signature. So I'm going to do nine. I might end up pulling some of them out, but I'm going to start with nine. Um... Um, self-care has been known to reduce the effects of stress so that uh, the, the, the hormone of stress is cortisol and cortisol can be very damaging to our organs um, I mean it's it's a real thing it's physiological when you have stress, your body releases cortisol as a way of helping you in the short term. 
but long-term cortisol is, is uh, not good for you. It can be very destructive. So de-stressing, stopping that constant flow of cortisol <laughs> is really important. Um, I was going to go on about uh, intergenerational effects of cortisol, um, but since we're all women of who are likely out of our childbearing years, it's not as important for us. But uh, stress can be really um, difficult for uh, developing babies when if their mothers are super stressed. So I guess what I want to say, uh, it's, a, it's good for um, reducing the risk of illness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it increases your energy. And, uh, you know, why don't you um, grab a notepad and if any ideas resonate with you, because I'm going to talk about a few ideas <clears throat> with respect to okay, I got three. I got three. I got two. I need one more. Let's see if I can find another really pretty edge. Look at that Benji one. It's not a pretty edge, but I like it. Oh, there's a tear in it. Huh, well put it there and maybe I could use it on the back of yeah, I'm going to talk about some self care ideas so the good news is <clears throat> if you're crafting along with me right now or if you are um, just relaxing on the couch with your feet up and having a cup of tea that is also self-care so you're already engaged in the practice part of the problem is as women we're told that by relaxing we're lazy because <laughs> there's always something to be done in the house um, and it's our it's our problem but don't buy that it's not good for you and I really hope that you don't think I'm preaching here I'm just sort of reviewing information that we already know and it, it helps me to consciously <clears throat> do the things that I need to do um, you know uh, it sometimes we know what we need to do for wellness uh, you know, don't put so much salt on your food <laughs> or, or um, you know maybe get yourself to the uh, the gym once in a while that's not going to happen here but you know it could <laughs> the possibility is there um, but it's it's uh, sorry I got stunned there for just a second um, but I, I'm, I'm not preaching. I'm just sort of reviewing information for myself and, you know, maybe consciously giving you an opportunity to think about what your self-care practices are. So, so grab a notepad, jot some things down if, if you're just relaxing. Um, so it, it, I don't want you to think that self-care is all about, you know, bubble baths and manicures. It's, it's sometimes it's, it's hard work or 
um, it's work that we put off. We don't uh, want to pay attention to that, so it's a, an avoidance technique maybe, or um, we don't truly understand how doing something improves our, our wellness. Okay, I got three cut. <clears throat> so it, it you know, bubble baths and manicures aren't bad ideas for self-care. I'm up for that. But it's also things like um, writing down a list of do's, to-do's for the week and sort of plotting, you know, what you can bunch together and what day you should set aside time to do certain things. Um, You know, some some task might fall off a level of awareness if it isn't written down. Um, I so for example, I need to buy a new colander. I don't know where my colander is gone. The only thing I can think of is maybe I was dying something and I put it in the colander and took it outside to dry. And if that's true, then my colander is in the shed. But I'm not going digging around in the shed. And I, every time I cook something that I need a colander for, like last night I was cooking egg noodles, I get really cross with myself because I haven't found, haven't replaced it yet. So I uh, wrote it on my shopping list. And I'm going to replace that colander this week. Another thing that makes me crazy is I have uh, reading, reading glasses. Well, I wear glasses all the time for, for distance. I'm short-sighted. But I've also become quite nearsighted. Um... So I have a pair of readers that I use just for looking at monitors. And I am often forgetting my glasses. So right now my glasses are at the office. <laughs> Which isn't too bad because... You know, my laptop, the monitor is low, so I'm looking down in my bifocals. But at the office, I absolutely must have my readers because the, the monitors are positioned high. Um, and that's to help my shoulders, my neck, my back. And uh, yeah, sometimes I have to turn around, go home, get my glasses, or call Doug, ask him to bring me my glasses. And yeah, so I put on my list that I'm going to uh, get another pair of readers. Um, it's January, so my um, my work ben my benefits for um, things like glasses has um, become available again. I used it last year when I bought my current glasses. So I, I have an opportunity now to use that benefit to buy the readers. So I know I'm going to be at the office on Thursday. My to-do list for Thursday says go over to the opticians, which is right across the street from me in the mall, and um, order readers. Um, I also added that I'm running out of a certain color thread, my favorite color red. Uh... And there's a sewing store in the mall. So at the same time, I'm going to grab that thread. That way, I won't get frustrated if I'm, you know, making good progress with a project and all of a sudden, bang, <laughs> I'm stuck because I can't go any further. Um, so those are 
they seem simple, but they're acts of self-care. So it could be making an appointment with your dentist to take care of your dental health. Um, could be um, uh, planning healthy meals for the week ahead and, and writing up your, your uh, grocery list so that you'll not have the frustration of, oh gosh, what do I cook for dinner tonight? Well, I can't cook that. I don't have all of the ingredients. <laughs> so it's about, you know, making things easier for yourself and, you know, making easier decisions about healthy meals um, because, uh, 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 you know, I'm weak <laughs> for me at least. Um, and off, it doesn't come to me immediately what I'm going to make for dinner. Uh, let's just go out. Let's order a pizza. <laughs> Not good choices if you're thinking about, you know, saving money or, um, eating healthier <laughs> okay why I was watching somebody's video and I noticed that she had used the title page of a textbook and I thought that looks super cool I have a my uh, my buffet in the dining room underneath in the cupboards underneath is full of old um, textbooks <laughs> and I have to do something about it they've, they've, they're taking up room so maybe that's a self-care thing that I'll I'll look after in the future anyway I thought they looked fantastic in her journal I wish I could remember who it was not come into my mind. Oh, it might have been past in pages. I'm just measuring this. So I need it to be 11 and a, 11 and a half. No. Yeah. Well, now I'm wondering, is that really what I want? So this one is shorter. Good. Excellent. I'll keep this here as a template. But I do need to shorten it a smidgey. use a pencil so what have I done for my self-care today um, and I'm I should qualify that by saying I don't only think about self-care on Sundays or I don't only practice self-care on Sundays, but I do think and plan about self-care on Sundays. Um, so I refill my pill, my pill container. Um, you know, the big thing that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I refill that on Sunday. And that way I know, <coughs> excuse me, I know that I... Uh, have all my prescriptions. Um, I, I if I'm running out of something, I can order a refill. I have a way of making sure that I'm consistently taking my medications. I'm not forgetting. And and the, and you know just consistently taking. My medications is really important for wellness. So, for example, I um, I had my thyroid removed <clears throat> a couple of years back, uh, and so I 
I have to take my thyroid medication every day. And the risk is, is if I don't, I mean, it, I probably wouldn't be super dangerous to miss one dose, but, but uh, unless, you know, I'm consistently keeping my thyroid heart hormone at the correct level, I might not be functioning as well. It's all about hormones, isn't it? We've known that for our whole lives. <laughs> I just cut another piece of micropore. Um... If you are looking, uh, there was a, a remark about micropore in the comments yesterday, and I just want to make sure that I made it clear that you're looking for the micro, the white paper surgical tape. Uh, micropore comes in a tan color, and uh, there's another one. It's called micro something or other, and it's a it's a plastic tape. It's not called Micropore, but I got, I bought it um, accidentally one time because I just saw the micro and grabbed it. And yeah, so it's not terrific for anything. It's not terrific for bandaging. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want that. Gotta fix that. Do I? But do I? Now I'm asking myself, um, where is my old, pardon me while I look for my tape. I collect old tape <laughs> and I had two pieces of tape. It's not yellow enough for me. So I just pulled a piece of plastic out of the garbage and to protect my table my desk and I'm just painting on some ginger alcohol ink that's better let me hold that up so you can see it it's just nice that there's that label there uh, so you can see the one on the right is a more yellowed than the, the, the one on the left. Um, I was talking about self-care. Self-care could be going for a walk, um, meeting a friend for coffee, uh, doing some stretches. Could be anything. Um, oh, I'd already gotten behind that part, hadn't I? I was talking about what I've done for self-care. So, uh, as I mentioned, I'm getting older. I don't know about you. <laughs> and it's been on my mind recently that maybe I don't have enough savings for retirement. So, um, I went to the bank yesterday and scheduled an appointment with a financial advisor for Friday. I just want to make sure it has the little serrated edge here, and it does. If I don't have a serrated edge, I'll grab a, a roll of tape and rip a new serrated edge on the, the little serrated teeth there. Because I want it to look as old as possible. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, go see the financial advisor and... See if I can't uh, up my contributions to my um, RRSP. And I'm also thinking about changing um, how my RRSP is being invest invested. Right now it's in mutual funds, which is relatively safe. And has, you know, the opportunity to perhaps generate more income, but there's a risk. 
right? Um, so I'm wondering if perhaps I might want to change it to a GIC, which uh, uh, which is a guaranteed investment certificate for. I'm guessing it's a Canadian thing. Maybe it's a. I don't know anything about money. I'm not an economist. <laughs> If I knew anything about money, I'd have some. <laughs> uh, I do rely on the advice of others, that's for sure. Um, yeah, the G a GIC might have less return, but it'd have a guaranteed return. So we'll, I'm going to talk to the advisor and see what she says. And... Uh, get that moving. That'll give me a little peace of mind about g getting to those retirement years. Um, I will be putting some links, not below, but the link to my Pinterest page is below. Um, I have underneath the subheading January 2023, I'll have some links about a self-care challenge, a 30-day self-care challenge, um, self-care for um, what's the word I want to use? It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, for sen highly sensitive people. And I think that there's a couple of others. So if, if self-care is something that you want to think about more, um, maybe take a look at those, those uh, links. All right. I was going to do some more here. Oh, that's just a, that's my template. I thought I'd lost my template. <laughs> okay, ooh, laboratory manual. This is from 1940, 51. I think I'll put these ones aside. This is a 1940. I've got the whole kit and caboodle here. I like this because it's it's uh, got that old-fashioned uh, German text and there's some Pencil notations. Okay, let's see if this is going to fit. Oh, it's going to be perfect. It's got a, a name here. I have no idea. It ends with S L Y. And it's Clark. I don't know. I need some more much more. And another list. What I'm thinking about. I, uh, when we were on vacation, we went to this restaurant called, um, Frankie's Modern Diner in downtown Victoria, BC. And I ordered oatmeal and it was fantastic. It was steel cut oats and they had granola on it, um, bananas blueberries and strawberries 
and it came with steamed vanilla milk. I would have preferred to have uh, just, you know, cream, but I thought I'd try the vanilla milk. Anyway, I enjoyed that so much. And I actually ordered it because the uh, there was a review about the restaurant and it said uh, somebody had said order the steel cut oats and sourdough bre uh, toast and I thought okay well I'll listen to that and that's what I ordered and it was fantastic and I love steel cut oatmeal if you've never had steel cut oatmeal get yourself some oatmeal it is nothing like like the quick cut co bleh, quick cook um oatmeals or the you know the kind that you get in a package throw in a cup of water uh steel cut has a real different texture a real nutty flavor it's it's amazing and I've done it in the past, but I forget to. I'll make a big batch of it because it does take longer to cook. Although I hear you can put it in your um, Instant Pot, if you have an Instant Pot. Uh, so I'll make up a big batch and put it away in the, the fridge and then I can just microwave A breakfast. Doug likes it too. Yeah, this is great. I love this. It's got some a name on it. It's got a little bend in it. That's a good one. Um. Oh, I got this first book of anatomy. This was from 1871. I think it has a, I was going to say, I think it has like a body on it, but it you can just, you can just sort of see like a hazy silhouette of a body. So I'm going to find where the signature is sewn in. Look at that. The length of this thread is probably a good five inches. I will cut that. Uh, some people recommend using um, like a, a seam ripper, but what I like to do I have this staple remover. I got it at Staples. Truth be told, I probably stole it from work. So to make sure I don't damage the book, I will put the sta staple remover under it to cut. Now I know there's two strings there. I imagine it. Maybe I imagined it. That's the knee joint. That's the hip joint. Entered according to Act of Congress in the year 1854. Wow. That's an oldie. 
I wouldn't use this uh, to make a journal. It's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Kinds of joints. Papers would be fun. So that's on my list to make. cut oats. What else do I do? Oh, um, we keep our medications in the kitchen, in the kitchen drawer. And because it's, you shouldn't keep medicine in the bathroom. It's too, um, it's too humid to keep your medications in the bathroom, but you all know that. So I have a, a large drawer and it has a divider in the center and I cleaned out the drawer, threw away junk because sometimes junk gets put in there, business cards and <laughs> odd screws. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Uh, but Doug's medication, which should be on the other side, there was some there and there was some in the junk drawer on the other side of the kitchen. So I cleaned out both drawers, wiped them down, vacuumed out the crumbs first. <laughs> and, uh, and I got all the medications that were outdated you know you bought this in 2019 for a cold or you no longer take that medication because there's been a change in in the the dosage um so i've got those aside so that i can take them to the pharmacy to be destroyed i don't know what they do with them i'm wondering because they they say not to throw medications out and not to uh, flush them. But I don't know what they do with them. What else can you do with them? Maybe they incinerate them? I don't know. I'll ask. <laughs> I'll get Doug to ask. Um, yeah, I've got this tiny little book. Uh, the Larger British Moths. Uh, I want a double page of moths. Okay, I can do this one. I think I'm only going to get two. Yeah. Because there's the color photo and then on the other side is the black and white. Okay. Well, that'll work. Um, which one do I like? this one. This is from The Observer's Book of Larger British Moths. And 
1952. Just a little book. And this one. Oh. One by Gerald Edward Toogood. Nineteen fifty six. Ah, there you go. Interesting. So this was published in nineteen fifty two. Here we go. Okay, we got butterflies and beetles, and this has images on all four sides. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, I like this one. That one's not gonna come out easily. Ooh, there's the the death's head moth from, um was that called? Oh, Silence of the Lambs. I think I'll leave that one. I'm going to put this one in. It has blue and green. Something different. This one's Birds of the Sea. 1945. There is some color play. There they are. Mark and Andrea's anniversary yesterday, so we called them last night. I wish them a happy new year and a happy anniversary. I like that one. Let's see what else we have. What was this called? Birds of the Sea. Okay. Ooh, it's a puffin. I like a puffin. That's one thing I didn't do while we were in Halifax when the kids still lived in Halifax was they have the, um, sort of a whale watching kind of an experience but uh, they take you out to a place that has puffins I like this one. This is the one I'm going to use. Mm. Let's stop. 
stuff in there. Okay, I'll just put these aside. Uh, so this one is the Peterson Field Guide to Stars and Planets. Uh, 1964. I don't know if I'm going to find anything in here. That's interesting. I can't even find the center of the signature. Yeah, book at spine. There it is. I saw a picture of Haley's Comet. Yeah, this is a good tool in slightly newer books because sometimes the in the older books the the threads aren't as tight maybe they've been stretched over time so they're easier to hack out but the newer ones see sometimes you really need to give that a, bun a bit of a tug Northern Star Clock. Well, that's interesting. That's going to get a maybe. Did you do anything exciting for New Year's? Not me. <laughs> I was in bed by... Well, I was in bed reading by 7.30. I don't think I was asleep until probably nine, but well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get Haley's Comet. Yeah, because I don't want the glossary. All right. I'm going to go with the North Star Clock. I'm trying to keep this a little more masculine or gender neutral, I guess. And I, I just feel like songbirds and butterflies and flowers are a little more feminine. So that's why I got moths and seabirds. This is herbs. Um, a poppy. I'm sorry if this noise is too loud. Oh, I should say, um, things look the same right now because my order came yesterday and it didn't have everything that I need to, uh, fix the, the the lighting etc well, that's kind of a good one I'm going to go with that one. I believe that's all the books right now. Um, what else did I want to mention? Hmm. Um, what else did I... Oh, I packed away all my Christmas stuff. Uh, I didn't decorate a lot for Christmas, um, but like we have a wardrobe for Christmas with all of our, you know, 
Grinch t-shirts and <laughs> sassy t-shirts and uh, Christmas pajamas and so those are uh, washed and put away um, and the, the, the few decorations that I did have those are put away for another year um, I was reviewing my comments this morning and Kathleen who never fails me she's always leaving a nice comment um I don't think she's ever missed a, vi a video of mine <laughs> she mentioned in the comments that her creative goal this year is to get her handmade holiday cards done earlier um so that's that's another example of self-care so maybe and I'm not telling you what to do Kathleen but maybe a plan could be to set aside one hour a week, a specific, specific day, a specific time. Um, you know, maybe mm, Sunday morning, seven o'clock, you brew yourself a herbal tea and sit down for two hours and just work on your cards. So that might be looking around the internet for ideas or you know, flipping through magazines for ideas or trying different techniques. And I think if you did one or two cards a week, then by the holidays, and I, I know you do Thanksgiving cards too, um, as well as Christmas. I don't know if you do Easter. Anyway, um, by the end of 52 weeks, you would have quite a few cards, handmade cards, and they'd all be different and you'd get to, you know, stretch your creativity and uh, experiment with, you know, a new something, a new tag, a new tool, a new folder, a new guy. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I hope, let me just see if I've got enough pages here. Looks like I need about five more sheets. I would prefer to use um, one, two, three, four, five, between five and six pages for each signature. Um, so these will all, you look long. Mm, trim you up. Um, these will all go back into the book press. I want to leave that grungy up there. I guess I gotta take some of it off. So I'll probably add, you know, some maybe grid paper, some music manuscript paper. I'll find five more sheets. All right. Um, I I hope that you found this. Sorry. I hope you found that this video was uh, entertaining or informative or just a nice break. I uh, If you did like this video, please um, hit the like button. That helps... Um, my channel because uh, YouTube will then promote it more often to people who like similar uh, videos so it will help me build my channel um, and I'm I still got a goal I need 33 more subscribers before January 22nd which is my birthday I got 13 new subscribers yesterday thank you so much welcome 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 um, I hope we can get to know each other better in, in the coming year. Um, if you, if you aren't a subscriber, uh, please hit the subscribe button and then you'll know, um, what I'm up to. Um, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes you'll get notifications, of uh, my journals or my my videos not journals <laughs> um 
yeah, consider subscribing. That would be, that would be a real gift to me. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. What did you find in, interesting? Uh, what was your favorite part? What did you learn? Um, or how do you put signatures together? Are you somebody that does one big signature or several big signatures and then only do like three, um, signatures where I like to keep mine five millimeters apart and do smaller ones. Um, again, uh, link to my Etsy stores below. I have the links for my, um, Kofi account and my Pinterest board. And yay, somebody is following me on Kofi. I can't remember who it was. And I know a couple of people have, uh, started following me on Instagram. So that I, I'm so glad that I've um, talked about that and put those uh, links below. My Instagram is wishes and weeds, all one word. So I hope that makes it easy for you to find. All right. Take care. Happy New Year. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.